video one has been uploaded about the entrance. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you can go watch it. This is basically covering the principles of what I'm doing in this video. I'll do a small recap, but if you have any questions, maybe look back at the previous video and it explains why I like I chose the pet snowman to do this instead of like the guardian or pet bow. And it would explain a few of the things that you might be wondering, like uh, you know, like for example, clicking, like I am clicking, I'm only clicking to open the doors, the blood door or the wither doors. And that's the only thing I'm doing for clicking. Other than that, I'm not clicking at all the entire run. And well, let's get right to it. Okay, so here I am in floor one. I am actually going to complete it without clicking except for opening the doors. And it will be a little bit annoying to kill Bonzo, but not as annoying as floor two, which I've already done. So I kind of know what I'm doing as if as of how long it'll take. It won't take that long compared to floor two for sure. And I'm playing tank each class just for the anti knockback, which oh well, I have a I have a dwarf turtle shaman. Oh well. So I'm not clicking. The snowman, the, the snowman's doing it. It's based is doing damage based off of the strength that my total strength, which some of it is from my axis shred that I'm holding, and also it gives 30 ferocity in dungeons because of 15 from from the dirty reforge and five from vicious five enchant, giving 20, and plus a 50 from the five master stars plus 50 percent means I have 30. So basically, I'm just gonna be standing around. And for now, I'm just gonna kill the smaller mobs, or the weaker mobs, just because those will get annoying to kill the boss adventure, but I'll just be killing mobs. You can rewind the footage and look at it however you want. You'll not see me click it. Click anything. You will only see me walk around and watch the. Here's one of the clicks that I do. And watch the. You know, just watch the snowman do all the work. This one's got a little more on to kill. Again, people, you might just be thinking I need to aspect the end to teleport to places. I am not allowed to click, so therefore I can't use my aspect of the end to go anywhere. Can't use anything to teleport me or anything. It's the only time I'm ever gonna click. Just to open the wither door or the blood door. I'm just guessing where the door is at. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I'm just guessing where the door is at because I'm too lazy to check the map and change from F5 into first person view. There's the blood door. This is all I'm doing for the whole run. Why is it accurate on the mob on the table? so tempting to just click on the ground as I walk, just like doing it. No idea what the particles are. Doing it as a habit, just clicking on the ground as I go by it, but not like hitting anything, but that would break my own rules. I don't solve any puzzles because that also involves both clicking, except for the teleport puzzle, but who needs it? Actually, yeah, you do because you gotta open the chest, so. Can't complete that puzzle either. You see, I'm 
take a little longer to kill than those in the entrance floor. But they'll still be not that hard to kill. Long to kill at least. If you haven't seen the, the previous video, I do apologize for not uploading for a while. You know, there's not many people watching my videos. But, because I thought I would have plenty of time because my whole family is on break, because school is on break, my mom is teaching at a different school and that's also on break, my dad works at the university, which is also on break, so I thought I'd have time, but because everyone's on break, it's kind of a mess at the house. It's hard to record without, like, getting intruded upon or having background noise that I don't want. Including a few funny moments. One of them I shared in the last video. Another one was uh, the cat climbing my mattress. So I, I recently got a queen bed. And there, I mean my twin bed is, is, on, is on the side of the wall of my room. And you can just hear it going right through all the fabric, clawing and climbing its way up. And it's a little kitten, too. So, he was just climbing, 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 and making a noise, and he just slid, and you could hear his claws go all the way down the fabric, and just go, and it just made a tearing sound. It didn't really get damaged, but it was, it was annoying, because it was in the middle of me recording. And by the way, I am working on multiple videos at once. Just because I wasn't able to record didn't mean I haven't gotten any ideas for videos, and I'm not working on just one video, I'm working on multiple. Now the main challenge here is killing the undead, or trying not to kill the undead, but killing Bonzo before the, un the undead, like, take aggro. But it's not much of a challenge. But as you can see, my, my pet snowman takes him out quickly. I could just one-tap him with my, with my axe is shredded or side of white, but I'm not going to. The thing is, when he goes up there, I can't reach him. I just gotta hope the snowman can. Sometimes he can. I got milestone 5 for Bonzo doesn't seem to really regenerate. If he does, I, I, it's unnoticeable. It probably doesn't. So now I'm just gonna go in circles. He's gonna both work on killing Bonzo and the undead. Because killing the undead means we can unlock him or kill Bonzo faster. Because I do have to be close, and I can't just ask with the end over time, but I do have to be close in order to, to be able to use my snowman. Dancing on the grave. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.